with our ace writing is we're taking what we've read about and what we highlighted in the article and I'm going to ask you for just a second to think both critically and creatively. At White County High School we really saw the eclipse as a learning opportunity. Our teachers did a lot of things in their classrooms leading up to it that really gave our students a great chance to learn from a historic event. I think for us it's the same thing. We're not going to feel it instantaneous, it's going to take time. You look at that and you can see green spots, blue spots, orange spots. That's the sun's doing damage to your eyes. So on Monday with the eclipse, it's not going to be any different. The sun's still the sun. There were just a lot of things that helped bring learning to life, and that doesn't happen a whole lot of times at the high school level. So we really enjoyed all the opportunities that we had. We even had a guest speaker come in and talk about the eclipse. Umbra, that means that we get the total solar eclipse. So there's a little bit of a wider shadow also that comes out from it. That's called a penumbra. And everyone who's in the path of that shadow will get the partial eclipse. So we are really, really lucky. Looking back on it, I'm just really glad we were in school because our students really had a lot of fun. Uh, they embraced it. Our teachers embraced it. Our administration em embraced it. And there were just so many great activities that took place that uh, I think we would have been disappointed in had we not had the opportunity to be together. And that's really the thing that uh, really made me feel good coming out of that day. We witnessed a, a, a great event, but we witnessed it together and got to participate in so many learning activities and so many different things that I think our kids are going to remember for a long time. Tell me the difference between diurnal and nocturnal animals and how do you think that they're going to be affected by Monday's eclipse? So much hard work went into the day. There were just numerous activities. Our teachers and our students really put a lot of hard work into having things available for students to do during the eclipse and those were great because uh, it really added to the whole atmosphere and to the experience for everyone. We're not going to be watching the solar eclipse on TV. Where are we going to be watching it? Outside. So the location, or as we say in English class, the setting is going to be a big factor in the similarities or differences between this and the moon landing of 1969. I just think that for anybody that was in attendance at White County High School on the day of the solar eclipse, they're always going to remember where they were because there are very few times where you can get students excited, all of them excited about things. And you, you could see the tweets and the social media posts that were coming out after. Our students just loved it. Our teachers loved it. It was just a great day all around. And really, I just can't help but be thankful to be a part of it and to be a part of this.